hello hey you welcome back to my channel my name is nicole and i started the 30-day hair detox by i am black girl curls in january of 2021 so the main purpose of my hair videos is just to document my progress in real life with how the simple hair care tips of cleansing and conditioning and styling are improving my hair every week how i'm improving with my technique understanding and knowledge of my hair and how to use uh, products in the best way to benefit my hair but the main thing is just to wash and condition my hair every week so welcome if this is your first time here welcome back if you're a frequent watcher i appreciate all of you so you know on my last visit with tyranny my stylist y'all know we've been having some issues over here right i'm gonna take my hair down as i talk to you and so um what we have discovered because it's been consistent and it's been like right here right and what that is is progress so my new healthier hair is growing in and the hair that's on the ends, one that's your, your oldest hair and it's also my most unhealthy hair because it's still hair that was victim to unhealthy hair practices. Namely, the year before I did the detox, I was looking back at my pictures. I either protective style like braids and twists for most of that year or straighten my hair so i did a lot of my hair could should be in worse condition but i did a lot of itchy itchy is another uh sign you know it's time to wash my hair this is an eight day old set by the way and it's extra crunchy because it has the mop top on it which is like spritz so as you can see it's it's very very crunchy so i'm not gonna pull on it too much but um back to my point so to help strengthen the bonds the i think it's the disulfide bonds because your hair mainly has three bonds i think it's hydrogen carbon and disulfide disulfate disulfide bonds and so whenever we're manipulating and doing our hair we're like diminishing or weakening those bonds so what olaplex number three this is the one to use at home see take home um does is strengthens it doesn't give you more it strengthens the bonds in your hair you know help holding that hair together as i'm continuing to grow out the damaged hair so you know if you have a stronger something attached to a weaker something it's going to tend to start breaking off so this is to strengthen those bonds to help reduce that happening to help my hair behave more predictably especially in that area as i'm continuing to grow in new hair Sorry, I was, just, I was concentrating on this hair journey. So if you go to Olaplex's website, they have a more in-depth um, explanation about what it does, what it is, what it isn't. It's not a deep conditioner, okay? So if you're using it for that purpose, that's it's not going to benefit you in that way because that's not what this does. Um, it says on the bottle, use before shampooing, not a conditioner. It's a bond builder. Now, this says use one time per week for damaged hair. And if your hair is damaged two to three times per week, apply to damp towel dried hair, apply a generous amount from scalp to ends until hair is thoroughly saturated. Leave on for a minimum of 10 minutes longer if desired. Rinse out from hair for best results. Shampoo with Olaplex number four and conditional Olaplex number five. So on their website though, when you go, there's like a how to about how to use the Olaplex. And it says that you can use it on dry hair if you don't have a lot of product on your hair and i don't know what a lot of product is to them but i know i have product or i got what this week three gels on my hair right so that's product even if it's high quality product uh talking to tyranny about it on my appointment she said that i could just dampen my hair and work it in but let's just let's go all the way I'm gonna leave that alone see i'm not gonna mess with it too much with the tangling so what i'm gonna do is i'm about to go in my kitchen sink and shampoo my hair 
with AG Balance Shampoo. I put a code below so you can get your personal discount uh, on your first purchase of 20% off. So go take advantage of that. I use this every week. So I'm gonna go wash my hair with this to get the product off of it because I don't wanna block anything from the Olaplex getting into my hair like it's supposed to. So I'm about to go wash my hair with the AG Balance. Then I'm going to apply the Olaplex to my hair. It is a quality product, so a little is gonna go a long way. Um, and thoroughly work it through my hair, specifically focusing on this area here. And then I'm gonna go sit under my dryer on high heat with the Olaplex on my hair for 10 minutes. And then I'm gonna get in the shower and do my regular cleanse, condition, and style. You do not leave this in your hair. You need to wash it out, okay? This is important. So that is a brief overview of how and why I'm gonna be using Olaplex. Comment below if you have used Olaplex and also let me know if you've used it correctly. One more thing, I don't have to use this every week or every two to three days. I have been instructed to use it every other week up until my next appointment or until I finish this bottle and that's it. So that's how I'm, I'm going with it and I'm looking forward to just strengthening the bonds of my hair so I don't have that unpredictability over there and continuing to just grow out my healthy hair. So I'm going to shampoo and then uh, I think I'll come back and show y'all how I apply the Olaplex to my hair and work it through and then go get under the dryer. See you in a little while. As always, I saturate my hair really well with water and try to rinse out the old product before adding the shampoo to my hair. And remember, emulsify, 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 because that helps with the distribution and saturation of the product. Okay, so my hair is freshly washed, freshly washed and damp. So now I'm going to start in the area with the most issues just so I don't miss that part because it's most important that I focus on that part of my hair. See, I haven't even opened it yet. I got this at my local Ulta. Smells kind of neutral, creamy, vanilla-y. You know how a lot of the botanical products we've been using are citrusy, like AG and others. But this one smells a little bit more creamy, vanilla-y. All right, so I'm just gonna... Whoops, see that was too much already. It looks thicker in the bottle. I did not expect it to shoot out like that. So hopefully this can cover like this whole side of my head. Yeah. And this is the smallest bottle they have. And it's um, $28. Okay, y'all. So use it wisely. <laughs> Only use it if you really need to use it and then know why you're using it because this is not anything I'm trying to waste. All right, I did a little better that time. Just a little bit. I'm not necessarily trying to get it all the way to the roots because where the new hair and old hair comes in right it's kind of midway through the strand so I don't have to necessarily get it from root to tip except on this section because I just want to strengthen the whole area. I'm gonna insert a clip of how my hair looked when Tyranny did it. 
but y'all know tyranny takes like an hour to like wet my hair run the wall as she should right she's a professional this is me at home doing it and got the hair you know shampooed it really well better than i'm gonna do leaning over my sink um got my hair super duper saturated with water before she even put put the olaplex through there and then just take like i always do make sure it gets worked through really well and then when i go get under the dryer that's gonna help it sink in she put me under the steamer which i love i wish i could do that every appointment though it's not necessary just because it looks so cool and makes me feel so fancy With it, so I use maybe you see, I I could, you can kind of see it. I shine a light right behind it. No, that's not helping, but I can see. I use about to there. Is how much? So that's like a fifth, a sixth. So maybe I could get five or six, the way I'm using the uses out of it. Okay, that's it. That's how I'm all places. And so I'm gonna go sit under my hair dryer for 10 minutes on hot heat, but that's soaking really good. Then I'm gonna go rinse it out and then cleanse, condition, and style accordingly. Okay, this is after being under the dryer for 10 minutes. One more thing I wanted to add about Olaplex is that it's not a one and done type treatment as I mentioned, but not specifically before. This is going to be an ongoing thing I do for every other week or every two weeks until I finish the small bottle and then we will see where we, we are. So it's not supposed to grow my hair. It's not supposed to condition my hair. It's supposed to help. It's supposed to not help, but strengthen the bonds in my hair. Uh, chemistry and stuff. All right, but y'all know accounting, accountant first, right? But I did do really well in science and stuff, in college, biology, chemistry, all that stuff. But I want to do accounting. You know, that's that's just me. All right, so I will go and clean this condition and come back here so you can see me style. So, in review, what is Olaplex? It's a bond strengthener. It's to strengthen the bonds of your hair. It's not a deep conditioner. It doesn't have any, it's not a conditioner. You should wash it out. It's not something you just leave in your hair. You need to wash it out. When should you use Olaplex? When your stylist suggests, so if you're partnered with a hair care professional, let them evaluate your hair to see is this a product that would benefit your hair and contribute to your hair journey. How often should you use Olaplex? As often as your stylist suggests and when your stylist suggests. So that's my review about Olaplex, what it is, when you should use it and how often you should use it. So my hair is nice and saturated, full of water and UFD. So let's get into these other jiggles. How are all y'all doing today, by the way? I hope you're having a productive day. That means different things to different people, right? Sometimes if you got out of bed in the morning and got dressed, 
That's productive. <laughs> list of things to do today even if you just accomplish one or two of them that was productive if you made a list of things you need to do this week that's productive I still haven't seen a comment from y'all about what do you do when you hit a tangle? How do you handle it? Do you cut it? Do you take your time to work it out? Do you cry? Do you throw the whole hairstyle away? Like what, what? Do you get the brush out? You know, try to brush it out. What do you do? told y'all I'm being more intentional with how I twist my hair up into sections so that I don't contribute to the tangliness by just like haphazardly piling it on top of my head after doing all this work to you know pre-align it all right I'll see you when I get up here
I wanted y'all to know that y'all are making me smile when I see your comments that you want to revisit raking and smoothing after watching my video. So I really appreciate you sharing that with me as well as I'm appreciating that this is uh, helping you want to try something new and hopefully uh, have an easier way to set your hair every week and to keep practicing. Practice, 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 right? Y'all see I've been doing this for over a year and so my technique is continuing to develop and get better and better because I've kept practicing even when I've hit hiccups or I maybe didn't fully understand what was going on with my hair or where I, oops, see, technique, I need to get a brush. I tried to make it as long as I could because I was just like, I don't feel like using a brush this week, but that little snag made me think, okay, do what's best. Listen to my hair, so that'll be much better. So yeah, keep keep practicing and improving and seeing, you know, comparing your progress to your progress. I almost hit myself in the eye, but it was my eyebrow, y'all. Sometimes this hair gets to flopping around, and thank goodness for the botanical products, because I will tell you that even when this, the AG and stuff gets in my eye, it does not burn like other products I've used in the past. It seems like it just does what it's supposed to do. It's water-soluble. Of course, you don't want to put it in your eye, but... It's nice that it's not like such a bad reaction that I have to completely stop what I'm doing and you know how to poison control people like flush your eye out with water and you know mayday mayday it's not like that it's just like ooh, got something in my eye it hurts less than get it's less uncomfortable than getting my own eyelash in my eye when I get my hair my product in my eye so I appreciate that This is like the new hair versus the old hair, the most in this section. And I think that's where the tangles come in. Yeah, I'm excited to uh, finish this and get her in the dryer because we ordered Chinese food yesterday and I know I got some shrimp fried rice leftovers waiting for me. So I'm excited to go heat that up and sit under the dryer with a big old plate of shrimp fried rice and probably some ginger ale and just enjoy my time under the dryer catching up on Hulu and uh, yeah, I'm working right. I'm a I'm a digital creator now, so I'll be researching and looking and arranging content and scheduling things and stuff like that as well. But what I'm most looking forward to is that shrimp fried rice.
looking first. This hair is saturated. So, put a hair dryer for one hour. See when I get back. Okay, I only went in for like five minutes at my roots. I timed it. So they're still damp, but they're not like foamy. So I'm gonna go about the rest of my day, let it air dry, and that's gonna be that. So I'll see y'all on day two. Hey, welcome to day two hair. So you see how this side is not risen up and being unpredictable so that's me saying that you know the olaplex is doing what it's supposed to do right i have an issue right here not a serious issue it's just like a growing pains issue i mentioned before i when i first went to get my hair cut i didn't want a big chop again i could have just cut all my hair off in a nice short taper and just grown it out that way i did not want to do that so as I'm continuing to grow out the old, less healthy, you know, more damaged, whatever hair, then of course that hair is going to break off and, and such. So this is helping it to have a little bit of more strength as I continue to grow out the old hair and make, you know, make room for the new hair is how I understand to explain it. So here's the inside. Looking quite good, right? Right, you see that over here? And you know, the shape is still shaping. And you know, when, when I first get my hair cut, it seems like it's such a big, uh, not this time though, right? Because I had, I've grown in my shelf so much, but just getting used to, you know, as I'm breaking this movement every, every week and it gets longer, then you get used to the length and then of course you get it cut. So this is the least um, learning curvist. I felt like after getting a haircut, I don't feel like I'm completely out of touch with my hair. So I'm happy about that and happy to continue to grow my hair out, but also excited that since my shelf, my base is all grown in, then is this the point where I can start bringing my hair cut down more? My ideal shape <clears throat> is what's been called, told to me to be called a balanced shape. So that's that's just what I'm going for with my hair. First and foremost is just to have balance throughout my whole head. And then once I achieve balance, like I don't, I don't think I want to bob or anything. Once I achieve balance, then I'll go from there. So imagine if this was all grown out all this was grown out right where it hangs here so that's my my shelf and then the rest of the hair you know falling in line with that and then we can go from there whatever balance is at whatever length I'm at so that's day two hair I will happily see you on day three hair and don't forget check the description box below because there's some new things there for y'all to enjoy and some nice uh discounts Thanks for watching. I'll see you on day three. Hi. Welcome to day three hair. Right? Day three is my favorite day. Um, days three and four, because usually I have definition, but my hair has started to frizz a little bit and get more volume. So I like day three. So here we go. And with the fresh cut, the shape is very much shaping, right? My little problem area is starting to frizz, but you see it's a lot less problem. And look at that. Look at that little more silky, shiny curl just hiding under there. She's so cute. I'm going to pull her apart now. There we go. Yeah. Now, I hope y'all get distracted by looking at your hair and being like, ooh, pretty. Ooh, look at that. You know? Get to know her well, love her, and make her look, you know, as best she can. Doop. Doop. So, yeah. That's it for, for day three. Um, 
I'm appreciating. Oh yeah, I, I use the Olaplex, right? So communicating with your stylist, right? If they make a recommendation and it's working or not working, I made sure I shot, sent Tierney a message to let her know like how I used it and then how it's working for me so that she can, um, you know, have that in mind. Uh, and if it were, weren't working, I guess that she would give me another another suggestion. So I do appreciate that partnership and the communication so we can work together, you know, to help Abigail be her best. So I will definitely see y'all on day four. Have a great day. Hey, welcome to day four hair. I told y'all either day three or day four is my favorite hair. So day four is nice and more frizzy, but more volume. And it's not re really poofy or fluffy because I think of fluffy as kind of like soft and airy. There's definitely some density going on here, but I'm loving how it's going with with the shape of my, of my haircut and my curls. So, oh, all my makeup today is the lip bar i'm trying their new vegan lip glosses now you tell me do you pronounce this word bourgeois bougie you let me know in the comments number put number one if it's bourgeois and number two if it's bougie okay um i think it's bourgeois all right but this is the lip color that i'm wearing today this blouse was made using my caftan pattern on the dornbotnicole.com and also in my Etsy shop. So it's a lot of representation going on for my um, affiliate code and for my, my personal uh, brand. Um, about the affiliate links, right? Just to refresh, clarify, you might already know this. But if you click on the link to shop, right, that I have below the bit.ly, then Lip Bar knows that I sent you to look at their site, right? And then on top of that, using my code ABN10, that's just an added bonus. So whether you're able to use the code or not, just clicking on the link and going and shopping, it helps like with the analytics and stuff, just so they know that I am sending interest to their brand their way, okay? So I appreciate all of you who have done that. Um, the inside of my hair is, is frizzing. The shape is great. I have to, when I first get my hair cut, um, um, I love the shape. I love the, you see the frizz, this is gonna frizz, but it's not frizzing like it used to, right? Olaplex. But um, it makes me wanna do, <laughs> reset my hair more often because it's freshly cut. You know, the ends are nice and sharp. It's so much easier to rake and smooth through my hair. Like this morning when I got up, I was like, before I even took the hair buff off, right? Um, have you seen my video three ways to do uh, the hair buff and if so do you do number one number two or number three a combination of the ones I do a combination I don't do just one all the time anymore um, yeah I do whichever one I feel like doing at any given time that's why I gave y'all choices right three three ways so whichever way you find helpful good for you but um, yeah it makes me want like do a bunch of stuff to my hair twist out try everything again with a fresh cut so i have to tell myself calm down the reason you're you love this journey is because your style can last a week you always have next week there's no hurry to to reset your hair and try something new but i also like enjoying it from day to day and seeing how it progresses so i will definitely see y'all on day five and We'll see how I'm feeling. I think I'm exercising self-control by not resetting my hair today. We'll see how tomorrow goes. Because, you know, this frizz part, once it really starts frizzing up in here, it's going to spread, right? So if it starts spreading, then I'm just going to cleanse, condition, and style my hair again. Yep, no problem. All right, I'll see you on day five. Hey, welcome to day five hair. Calling it quits on this set. The shape is still shaping, but the frizz has set in and my scalp is itching and I just want to reset my hair. I found that the sweet spot for like after I get my hair cut, like four, 
four weeks after, I'll be feeling good about um, it having grown out a bit. And also, I didn't expect to love it this much, but this new, just a tint, new, is it new? It's new to me. Tinted moisturizer from the lip bar. And I don't even apply my stuff with a brush, but when I apply this with this brush, it's like just enough coverage for, you know, a nice natural glow. And then I still went in with my, their normal um, Stay Ready palette and did the rest of my face, the concealer and everything. And I like that it's more of a, a natural, you know, a little coverage, but not just like a full face of makeup. It has an SPF in it. So it really is more a moisturizer than a tint because it even says on here to apply it, I guess for the SPF benefits every two hours but I'm using it more of just like a natural looking foundation. So um, got the link in the description box. Use my code ABN10 if you decide to give it a try. And yeah, it's my genuine recommendation. I, I like it. I like it a lot. It's gonna be my new kind of, <laughs> excuse me y'all, every day, you know, foundation. I like the, the glowiness and that it doesn't completely cover, you know, my skin. You can still see a little bit of the imperfections but it just gives it a little more polish so this hair is very much frizzy in here it was a lot more difficult to pull it out into shape and so I have some time and I'm definitely ready to reset her so I'll catch you on the next wash hour with a fresh set thank you for watching subscribing liking um, chatting with me if you join for the instant premiere comment below with how your hair journey is going and i look forward to chatting with y'all on the next wash hour have a great day